Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have with me here a little jewelry box, a little wooden box. And it's only tiny and I have taped the back where the hinge is. And I'm going to have a go at doing a little bit of stencil work, I think, over the top of it. It's only small, so I have to keep it pretty simple. So what I'm going to do, instead of gessoing, I'm going to give it a coat of spray paint over the top. This is a matte white uh, spray paint. I'm obviously going to do this part outside and I will give this a spray. So let's get this covered and then I will be back. Um, while my little box is drying, I'm going to try and work out what colours to use. And as you can see, I have quite a few eye candy colours here. Um, this is a tester pack which you can purchase from eye candy when you don't know what colour you want to buy. <laughs> um, it's lots of fun, but also it's really hard to decide. Um, this one has me intrigued because it says cherry red, but it looks really brown. Um, but, you know, they're, they're, it's, you really have to mix them and pull them out of the packet to have a look at them. But, um, I've got a lot of beautiful colours here, but I think I want to keep this, because it's small, I want to keep it simple and I want to keep it, I think, dainty. Um, so maybe purples. So, Jasmine looks like it might be pretty. It has a bit of a beautiful sparkle. I don't know if you can see the colours in this. Hang on, I'll put my I'll put my flash on. All right, let's see what that looks like. Um, Valentine Red looks really pretty. Um, nice and light. <laughs> Ooh, got a pretty sparkle. We all know I love a sparkle. So maybe Valentine Red. Let's put that over there. And Barney Purple. Or Jasmine. Oh, they are very similar in colour. The jasmine has a little bit more of a sparkle in it. Um, I don't know if you can see it here, um, but I think to go with the Valentine Red, I might do the jasmine. So maybe those two colors. This is where sometimes I wish you guys could tell me. But, you know, I've got plenty here, so this has also got me very intrigued. Look at the colour in that. Don't know if you can see it. That's violet. Violence. Oh. Violence violet. Rusty also looks really pretty. Too many, too many. I don't know what to do. Macaw. Ooh, some macaw. Wow. All right. These are the two. So, when you put those together, there is a pretty sparkle, especially in this. So, we have jasmine and Violent, Valentine Red. 
for Valentine Reg. Hopefully that's in focus. And Jasmine. Now to wait for the box to dry. The stencil I'm thinking of trying is this one here. I need something for you to see it on, don't I? So hopefully you can see that. But obviously I would only use one section of the actual um, stencil, not the entire thing. I just don't know if it's going to fit on the actual um, uh, little trinket box. Here it is dry and I have sprayed it with white the matte paint. I haven't done the bottom yet. Now you'll notice here it looks different colours and on the top that's because I did a light spray of gold over it um, just to give it a little bit of I don't know, something else other than just stark white. I also ooh, did it again. Here's a handy note for everyone. Wait till your paint's dry before you stick your finger in it. Otherwise you will have a kale artistic or whatever your name is signature permanently in marked on your top. Um, all right, next step. I'm going to move you down to the working table and um, we'll get started. I'm mixing pigments and because they're really really fine particles it is recommended that you wear some type of um, safety equipment like breathing like dust mask or even better um, a PP. Um, the gel I'm going to mix these with <laughs> got black paint under my nails is um, Chromacryl Impasto Gel Medium. The reason I'm using this gel is because it actually dries clear. So when it dries, you will see the full colour of the beautiful eye candies. Well, that's the aim anyway. <laughs> um, I'm just going to mix my <clears throat> pigments up on my silicon mat here. And that way, if I have any left over, I can scrape them into a little jar um, or I can just tidy it off um, easily. Um, sorry, I'm by my window, so I have a little bit of sun coming through. All right, I'm going to put my safety gear on and I will get mixing. I do have my mask on. Um, I don't know how you can hear me. I'll see what this part sounds like. If not, I'll do a voiceover. First one I'm going to mix is the jasmine. Knocking all the pigment down to the bottom. I don't want to waste it. And I'm doing a small scoop. Always close up your pigments when you're done. And when I close them, then you can actually see the pigments floating up into the air. So that's why you wear a mask. Now I have to mix this very gently to start with.
making sure I'm incorporating all the pigments into my gel. Crushing them in. But in a soft motion, so I don't spread it too far and any dry pigments that may not be mixed in won't float around. Valentine Red. Where's Finn? Pretty. May need more of that one. We'll see. I'll just put a little bit on. This next part's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just putting down my stencil and lining it up on my trinket box. And then I'll be taping off any sections that I don't want um, the gel medium to go onto. There was a small hole up in the corner and you'll see that I put the tape over that as well. I probably won't talk too much through this bit because You've seen me do these before and you know what I'm doing, um, so I'll just let you sit back and enjoy.
this was actually a little bit tricky to pull off um, because the box was so small it was a little bit hard to hold the stencil um, as you can see there is a little bit of a ridge on that section there where I lifted it I probably lifted it the wrong direction but I fixed that as you'll see and the end result will be coming up shortly Alrighty, time for dry results. Uh, as you can see, the colours have blended, but I actually quite like the fact that they have blended. I think it uh, helps with the size of the actual stencil itself. Originally, I was going to keep them separate, but the intricacy of doing such a small stencil on such a small thing was a little bit tricky. And um, I'm actually really happy that I blended them. I think it's turned out really pretty. This is only oh, maybe 10 hours after I have done the piece. So it is still drying. It's dry to touch. But I'm guessing um, within 24 hours it will actually be uh, maybe even a little bit more intense with the sparkle but I'm um, loving it and I hope you do too.
Thanks for watching everyone. Do all those YouTube-y things that I love you all to do. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.